If you're making any one of these mistakes with your YouTube channel and your content, that may be the reason why you're not seeing any growth and it sometimes feels like you're uploading to a non-existent audience. In today's video, we're going to take a look at five of the most common mistakes that so many creators and especially newer creators are making that are holding back their YouTube channels from reaching their full potential and creating so many roadblocks in their growth. The first very, very common mistake that so many creators make is trying to make every single video they upload blow up. As you can see, even from the videos on my own channel, in the month of February, I had one video that blew up to over 30,000 views. Then I had a couple that got six, seven, 8,000 views. And then I also had a few videos that performed very, very averagely and only got a couple thousand views. And that is just how content on social media works. Some videos are going to be a massive success. Others are going to perform a little bit better than some others. Other videos you upload are going to perform very, very averagely and others are going to be complete and total flops. But if your main intention with every single video you are uploading is to try to make that video blow up, you're going to be so much less focused on trying to make sure every single video you upload is going to strike a chord with your audience. And that is what matters so much more because that is the number one thing that is going to A, get more people to click onto your video, secondly, actually convert viewers into subscribers, and also get people to not only subscribe, but to come back for more of your future uploads. So while it's real nice to have a video blow up every now and again and get way more views than your average video does and make a lot more money than your average video does, trying to make every single video you upload blow up is completely unrealistic and it's going to take you away from what needs to be your main focus as a creator. Mistake number two that I see so many creators making is judging your video's performance way too early. We have actually very recently received a brand new cue from YouTube's algorithm that basically told us that when it comes to both shorts and longer form videos, YouTube actually judges every piece of content's performance on a seven day basis. Which means that if you're uploading a brand new video to YouTube and you see that your new upload is ranked ninth or 10th out of your last 10 uploads and you're then getting discouraged and frustrated, you are judging your video way too quickly. Even within the first hour after I upload a brand new video to my channel, my videos can very easily go from being ranked eighth or ninth of my last 10 uploads to jumping up to fourth or fifth within the same hour. Your video is not going to get all of its views and all of its performance in the first 30 minutes, in the first 60 minutes, or even in the first 24 hours. Especially not if you're focused on optimizing your videos to rank in search on YouTube and also focusing on creating content that holds your viewers so that you're getting a higher click-through rate and a higher audience retention, which is going to make YouTube push out your video for so much longer. Just like I said in my last point, I had a video in February that blew up to over 30,000 views, but that video definitely did not get 30,000 views on the first day. It actually took over a month for that video to get all the views it's currently sitting at and it's still growing. So just do yourself a favor and upload that video and then walk away. Don't look at the views, don't read the analytics. Let that video sit there for about a week or so, gain all of its views and performance, and then come back and judge it a little bit more fairly. Then mistake number three that so many creators make is actually the complete and total opposite of mistake number two, and that is not going back to study your videos. I see so many creators in my comments section, in my Facebook group, in my DMs, who are just so frustrated with the performance of their videos. But then when I ask them about their CTR or their retention graph or which one of their traffic sources was the top performers, then it's very clear to me that they have absolutely no idea what it is I'm talking about. If you want to put your best foot forward as a content creator where your channel and your content is concerned on YouTube, you need to be studying your video's performance. Again, like I said in my last point, you definitely don't want to rush to judge your video in the first 60 minutes or first 24 hours. You definitely want to give your video a little bit more breathing space to grow on its own before judging. However, you are also doing your channel a grave disservice if you're not going back after a week or so to look at your analytics and the video's performance. This is what's really going to help you to be able to judge and figure out what exactly is leading to more or less retention on your videos. Where exactly throughout your video are people clicking off of the video and why are they leaving? What content exactly is either striking accord with your audience or that your audience is not all that interested in seeing from you. Making all these notes is going to help you put your best foot forward as a creator as you create future content on your channel. If you are just uploading videos and then walking away from your video and never looking at the analytics, you're never going to be able to make all these notes to help you improve on your future content. Mistake number four that so many creators on YouTube are making and no, not only newer YouTubers but also well-established YouTubers is just unnecessarily wasting so much time 
time in your intro. The first 30 seconds of your video are the most crucial because whether people are discovering your video through YouTube search or in their sub box or on their recommended page, they're going to be clicking onto your video with some sort of a motivation or a goal in mind or something they're hoping to get out of it. And those first 30 seconds of your video are your best chance at selling your videos to your potential viewers. That is when they're going to decide whether they keep watching or if they leave your video to go to a different video. Just think of any time you have come searching for something on YouTube. Usually you're going to look at the first two, three, maybe five videos that come up at the top of search. And then you're going to watch those top few videos to see whether or not they're going to give you exactly what it is you came looking for. But if you click on any one of those videos and you're delayed in getting what it is you came for because they're too busy reiterating their title or telling you to subscribe to their channel or telling you to buy their paid products, well then in one of those cases you are so much more likely to click off that video and go look for a different video. And that is the exact same thing whenever people come onto your video and watch your content. You have to confirm to them from the very first second they click onto your video and watch your video that your content is going to give them exactly what it is they came looking for. Without a doubt, audience retention is the number one most important metric and analytic when it comes to growing on YouTube, but that is definitely the most true in the first 30 seconds of your video. Mistake number five, holding you back from your potential as a creator on YouTube is being way more focused on what other people are doing and less focused on what you're doing. And let me just assure you that this is such a common thing for creators to do and we're all guilty of it every now and again. Whenever one of your videos doesn't perform well on your channel or you see your growth running kind of stagnant, it's definitely not an uncommon feeling to wonder if other creators are doing better than you, if other creators have a better strategy that you're not aware of. And that is when you begin to question if their editing style is better, if their thumbnails are more clickable than yours, if your videos are just too boring compared to other creators' videos. But I can promise you without a doubt, if people are clicking onto your video, if people are watching your video, if people are subscribing to your channel, if people are coming back to your other uploads after subscribing to you, you're doing something right. You are not going to be everybody's cup of tea and that's just how social media works. Some people are going to land on your content and completely and totally fall in love with it, subscribe to you, turn on your notifications. Other people are going to discover your content and it's just not going to be their cup of tea and they're just not going to feel served by your content. And that is 110% okay. That is again how social media works. So rather than focusing on who it is you are not drawing in, who is not subscribing to you, who is not liking your content, focus instead on who it is who is loving your content, who is commenting about how much they adore your videos, and rather focus on doubling down on exactly what it is that's working for you and helping you to grow. Just because you are not seeing the same numbers or growth or results as other creators and even creators in your same niche or market does not mean that your content is any less valuable. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!